Hello Beats friends, in this video I want to show you some new cabochons I made, some polymer clay cabochons and also I want to show you the steps that I made to create my cabochons. First of all take a look at these cabochons. I used some old canes that I had and these canes weren't perfect. The picture on my old canes weren't perfect and so I decided to mix these canes to create some abstract uh, cabochons. So don't ask me how to create the same picture because uh, I didn't use a specific technique to create uh, this picture on my cabochons. My cabochons uh, are really shiny because I use uh, this uh, varnish to polish my cabochon, Perlex varnish. I'm very proud of these my new cabochons because uh, I find a way to make uh, a smooth back part for my cabochon. I didn't use any glass paper or sandpaper to smooth the back part of my cabochons, but in the next part of the video I will show you how I smooth my back part. And as you can see, even the edge part of my cabochon are well done. <laughs> I'm very proud. <laughs> These are oval cabochon and the size in this case is 25 per 18 millimeters. These cabochons are size 18 millimeters. These smaller oval cabochon are size 18 per 13 millimeters. And the size is the same for these drops. Here they are. <laughs> and I will show you all the steps to create a cabochon. So now I want to show you how to create a cabochon, which are the steps that I made to create my cabochons. First of all, you need a mold. I use these Fimo liquid molds and I really love them because they are flexible, but in the same time they are strong, hard, okay, very stable. Then also you need a little ball of your polymer clay or your, of your favorite color of polymer clay. You need a blade, you need a brush and take a look at my brush because it really needs to retire. I have to buy a new one. And then you need some talc, okay? First of all, you have to condition your polymer clay then with my brush I put into my mold just a little bit of talc in this way and then I take off the excess of my talc. I usually blow into my mold, in this way the excess of talc disappear. Okay. Then I'm ready to put my little ball of polymer clay into my mold. In this way and I start to push but as you can see my ball is too big for my mold and so I have to cut off the polymer clay and I'm going to use this blade I put the blade in this position okay and then I let my blade slip on my mold in this way <coughs> Okay, and the last step is to push with my finger upon the back part of my new cabochon. I take off the excess of polymer clay and then I push in this way on the edges of my cabochon. And then, when the back part of my cabochon is really very smooth, I pick up my cabochon from my mold, in this way. To finish the edges of my cabochon off, I work in this way with my fingers. And this is what you get. Now you just have to bake your cabochon into an electric oven and remember that it's uh, always better to use a specific oven just for baking your polymer clay creations, okay? <laughs> 